everybody. This is Matt Does Fitness, and I really hate Russian dolls. They're so full of themselves. Now, today was deadlift, bench, and chest. Um, now, the plan was to do three sets of five at 185 kilos, uh, 410 pounds or so, I believe. Um, but I'd done squats about 14 hours previously to this, and it was a pretty hard session. And as soon as I started, um, I was in a lot of pain. My hamstrings were really, really sore. My glutes were pretty tight. Now, you'll see here, this is, the, this is my attempt at my first set of three. Um, this is my first rep, and it was like a massive effort. My form was pretty neat, but I went to go for a second straight away. I just thought this is stupid. Um, so instead of trying to force out some ridiculously difficult reps that shouldn't have been that difficult, I thought I would be sensible, drop the weight down. So I went for 160 kilos, <clears throat> um, and I did three sets of 10. Um, now, this was pretty friggin' hard. Um, I have not done any more than five reps since doing Wendler, which is, we're going back like probably two months now, maybe. Um, so, yeah, these sets of 10 really, really wiped me out. Um, on the plus side, though, my form was, again, was really nice. My back was straight the whole time. My hips, everything was coming up simultaneously. I felt really good. Um, <clears throat> I think as well, um, one of the plus sides to doing three sets of 10 is obviously it gives you a chance to reinforce that form, which I am obviously trying to uh, get drilled into me. My form is so much better now than it was, but obviously the more chance I have to get it nailed down, uh, the better. This is my second set of uh, 10. Uh, I didn't film all three because two sets of 10 to watch is boring enough as it is. Um, um, Yes, I mean, again, my form is looking pretty good. You'll see here my hips and my back rise simultaneously, which is what I'm looking for. My elbows were uh, straight, although a couple of times I noticed that my elbows started to bend. It felt like I had to kind of, it was almost like trying to pull the weight, uh, like my arms past my body at the end, but I think that's more an issue with where the, where the weight's lighter and I can obviously easy, easily bend my elbows. That's where it's happening there. When the weight's lighter and it's hanging down uh, like tighter, I don't think that will happen. But again, as far as form goes and keeping my elbows locked, I'm not overly concerned with that because it's something I can easily eradicate. If I, if I consciously decide to keep my arms straight, I will do it. Um, the big issues are my back and my hips and those things, and they're all looking really, really good now. So I'm pleased. Now, moving on, uh, bench press. I did three sets of five. The weight was 112.5 kilos, so it's gone up again from last session. Uh, that is 249 pounds. Um, and uh, once again, I mean, the last one or two of each set was a bit hard, but the first couple felt so easy. I mean, the first rep in particular, it literally felt like I was still warming up. It felt so light. So I'm really, really pleased, again, with the way my bench is coming on. I think the decision to drop overhead press, uh, I believe, was a very good one um, because I'm now benching consistently three times a week, and I'm feeling absolutely fine. My Weird nerve, arm, shoulder thing is completely fine. It was completely fine today, which is obviously a big bonus. But yeah, not having a, a red press in just frees me up to do a lot more bench without, uh, like obviously with enabling myself to have that recovery still in between sessions. Um, Albon Deres, um, you should probably be fairly scared right now because like I said, two, four, nine um, for three sets of five. And although the last one or two of the last set particularly were, a little, uh, a little bit of a grinder. Again, I always knew I had them, and the first couple were so ridiculously easy. It felt like, I don't know, like someone was, I had like a invisible spotter that was just pulling the bar up for me. And then like another uh, invisible guy lying on top of me, like pressing the weight, and then two more invisible guys standing either side of the bar, like front squatting it. Um, and I'm just there uh, riding the wave of, easiness um <clears throat> that's somewhat of a strange mental image um yeah so three sets of five 249 pounds um and it felt like nothing i still reckon i've got a little bit more there um anyway moving on accessory work to start with i, I wanted to hit chest uh pretty well so started off with some chest dumbbell press which i'm getting into the habit of doing now i did three sets with these 45s which are like a hundred pounds um, I did 12 down to about 10 down to about 8 now this is my second set I believe and what you're about to say here see here is me almost uh, 
committing suicide uh, by dumbbells. Uh, basically, I got to about seven or eight reps, I think. I got this one here, which was a massive grinder. Should have put them down, but I thought, I know what I'll do. I'll press these really heavy objects right over my head, even though I have nothing left in me. Um, and then, you couldn't really see it there, but one of them was very close to my face. Um, a couple of guys were uh, found that quite funny. Um, but yeah, what can I say? I like to live on the edge. Um, right, moving on, I did some uh, chest dumbbell flies. Um, this is the third of my three sets. I did three sets of about 14 down to 12 reps. Uh, this was the last one, so the weight's a bit lighter. I actually managed to go fairly heavy on the first set, which is a rarity for me with flies because my shoulder's not always great, but it felt really strong today, so it was, wasn't really a problem. Um, but I only filmed the third one. Uh, because I was recovering from the embarrassment of my uh, near-death experience. Um, yeah, I mean, I I do. I I mean, I I mean, in theory, doing like uh, flies with a cable should be better because obviously the uh, last part of the movement is also resisted. Whereas with these dumbbell flies, it's it's not really. But um, I at the moment I feel like I'm getting more. Um, chest engagement, bizarrely enough, from doing them with dumbbells. I know it's, there's more kind of stabilizers and stuff involved, but they just feel really good at the moment, so I'm kind of enjoying those. Um, and to finish the session, I did a couple of things. Uh, triceps. I did some over the head uh, tricep extensions using an easy bar, which you can see here. I did three sets of 12 down to about 10 of these. Um, and here, I'm obviously trying to get a, a large amount of... Um, like shoulder extension and obviously as much elbow flexion as I can to really really tax the initial part of the uh, movement and then obviously try and hit full extension where possible um, and then what I did after this I'm getting to a nice routine now uh, where I do these um, whereby I'll do these ones you've just seen there so the overhead ones with a big stretch and then I go into these ones here more of a skull crusher type thing so again three sets of 12 down to about 10 um, but just with my arms, my humerus is at a different uh, angle to my torso, like perpendicular to the floor. Um, and I feel like these are really, really good to uh, just hit that kind of midpoint uh, of the movement. Um, and again, all of it is, I guess, uh, just trying to strengthen and grow my triceps to help my bench. Um, but that was that, guys. So I didn't die, which is good news. Um, deadlifts, I was sore, but it wasn't too bad. I got some nice volume in. Bench is coming on nicely. 315 is definitely on the cards. Hope you enjoyed the video guys, like, comment, share, subscribe as always and I will see you tomorrow.